Hello, I'm John Stolzer. I'm the assistant women's soccer coach here at Iona College. Hi, I'm Sarah Brady. I'm the head coach at Iona College. Hi, I'm Emily Hansen. I'm the student assistant at Iona College. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, <laughs> no gifts, lots of food, nice family environment. Someone will say something and people will walk out. Oh, okay. <laughs> and holidays, I'm not a big fan of them because I'm away from home, but I do like Christmas. My favorite holiday is also Christmas. Just be around the family. It's a better time for everybody to get together and whatnot. We win 2v1. I stick on my I gotta go first. Oh. I always say the Godfather trilogy because I'm Scouse and, and we love that stuff, but it's really pitch perfect, to be honest. Really? <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Uh, Bridesmaids is good. I like it. It's very funny. <laughs> I, I can't think of one. That's, yeah, that's the one that came like to me. You can't think of a movie. I like a lot of them. I also like um, the Gridiron Gang. That's a really good movie. Oh, good yes. reference. Friends. Favorite TV show, Friends. <laughs> Some sort of documentary. <laughs> no series. <laughs> I don't watch telly. <laughs> Apart from football, so football matches, but that's not really a program. It's only so. streaming. I did like Friends when I was as young as Emily, but I'm not cool anymore, so I can't even claim to be friends. Kevin Costner. <laughs> Who's Little and Ginger? True Barrymore. She's Little and Ginger, right? True Barrymore. No idea. Uh, Britney Spears! Britney Spears. Looks exactly like her. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite subject was without a doubt history. Loved it. Oh, I'm still I'm a big fan of it. I read all history books, lots of nonfiction. As a matter of fact, the lady in my library says, here comes the nonfiction guy when I come in. <laughs> P.E. <-A. laughs> Same. Um, but I guess more math. I don't know why I like solving problems. So mine is Mrs. Porter. She pushed me really hard. She told me off every day, but it was the right thing to do. And I know now that I'm like an adult, it's because she loved me. And I love you too, Mrs. Porter. <laughs> How long is this long way? Mine's Can you well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Can you do a coaching point? I'm gonna do a soccer. Alright, mine's Mr. Munson. He was my English teacher in high school and he was also a soccer guy, so I really enjoyed his class. Um, I had kind of like really old school. Uh, he was my soccer coach, but he was also a social studies teacher. And he believed in berating everyone and their families to get the best out of us, especially in the second half. So he would get me all ratcheted up in anger. And then when I went out and did something good in the second half, he said, I knew you had it in you. <laughs> Very inspiring. I would have liked it. You would have, you could have done it. <laughs> Phil Jelly and ice cream! I'm British! Jelly and ice cream! Which is oh, jello yeah. in America. Jello and ice cream. Uh, I think just the ice cream would be fine. Cookies Thank and you. milk. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, that's okay. Come on, okay. Oh, that's a great question. All right, can I go first? Go ahead. Okay, first one. I'm a big fan of comedy, especially British comedy. Mickey Flanagan would be there. Uh, I'd have to invite my mum because I miss her and she's, she's the best ever. She wouldn't find Mickey Flanagan funny so I'm going to have to find her a dinner date. Jay-Z, but if he's not available, P Diddy because she loves both of them. But I think Jay-Z will be a better option because then she can convince Beyonce she can be the babysitter. Yeah, she, she needs P Diddy or Jay-Z. Whoever's available can come for her, but Mickey for me. Definitely Peyton Manning, he's like my all-time favourite athlete. Um, I used to dead or alive. Probably my grandparents then, the two that have passed. Because one I haven't met, and the other one I haven't seen in forever, so that'd be nice. I'm going to go with um, Mickey Mantle, Sebastian Maniscalco, and... No one in non-fiction character? No, I'm going to go with real... Mickey Mantle is kind of his non-fiction character. I think that's pretty he's biographical. He was, he's dead. <laughs> he's nice, real nice to have him back. Maybe Britney Spears. <laughs> no, Shannon! Yeah. Shannon has to come! <laughs> Shannon's great. Shannon, you should go. Shannon, yeah. Uh, if I could live the life of one person, it'd be my dad, because he lives the life. Craig. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we love Craig. I'd like to be my dad. My dad also, I think. He's, he's like my personal hero, hard worker, very understated, does the job, no, no fanfare, early to riser, early sleep, really pure, pure as the driven snow person. Uh, I don't want to be anyone else, I just want to try and be a better me, so I would be me, improved. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? Tiger! I think I would like to be a shark. An in-house dog, because they honestly have the best life ever. I've had dogs my whole life, and they're either sleeping or eating. I would like to live during like the revolutionary times. I think I would have been like a Hessian soldier someplace in South Carolina. Sometimes when I travel down there, I actually get these feelings that I was actually there once before. So maybe that's where it came from.
Um, big fan of Marcus Aurelius, so I'm going way back. I would, uh, I would like to be in that period. Oh yeah, that's me, right? Uh, the World Series, the Mets at home in 2015, I think. It was really cool. The stadium was shaking and stuff, so. 1984 uh, Olympic Games. Uh, Champions League final. Um, I've been spoiled. I'm a Liverpool fan. I've been all over Europe watching them. But uh, definitely Champions League final. It was, it was brilliant. Probably a hot dog. Honestly, not a big fan of hot dogs, but it's very easy to eat, quick. Baseball girl. Yeah. yeah. I'm much more of a lobster roll guy. It's so inconvenient to eat them. <laughs> I go to City Field. They're right yes. there. They're perfect. <laughs> I'm too busy screaming and shouting at sporting events. Um, so my food is ends up all over everybody else, uh, but I do need to hydrate more. So I'm, I'm going for beverage. I'm going for the old Edward water. I don't think there's any one. I think it's a com combination. I'm sort of a hybrid of many, uh, influenced by many great players, especially um, back in when I was a child. You know, people like Beckenbauer and Cruyff and those people. Are you that people good? Were you that good? I, those are people I looked up to. Those are my <laughs> like. I look at them as aspire to be them. All right, I'm having it. I wouldn't say I, I kind of model myself as them, but I've definitely been influenced by a lot of them, specifically Ronnie Albert. Meatball! <laughs> Again, growing up in, in England, there's, there's a lot of professional football coaches out there. I mean, I was always a Rafa Benitez disciple. I mean, love the man. Even though he coaches at Newcastle now, I just still love him. Um, but our current manager, Jürgen Klopp, is, he's been compared to me a little bit. He's, a, he's very expressive, let's say, and sometimes I can be right just. You help people. <laughs> people. Yeah, I help people. I can say mine right off the bat. Um, so Emily was our former captain. Um, you know, outstanding player for us, especially last year, her senior year. Um, what's really, really special is this year, you know, she's back on staff as a peer and, and she's contributing as a peer. It's not just, you know, the token, oh, we have a, a student assistant. You know what? Drop the student, volunteer. She's an assistant coach and she contributes to planning sessions, um, critiquing sessions. I mean, just today I told you what did I, what could I have done better? You know, she's she knows her stuff and now she's ready to give that back to, to the rest of the, the athletes that, you know, were once her teammates. So as a leader in the in the coaching world, that, that's the most um that's the most rewarding thing. I think the most rewarding thing is getting uh, text messages from former players that you had maybe when they were 10 or 12 or 13 and they send you something that says I'm on a bus in the middle of Tennessee going to an NCAA tournament game and I just want to tell you that a lot of the things you told me when I was 13 I didn't really understand but I do now and I appreciate them and I wouldn't be where I am now if you didn't help. Tremendously rewarding. For me it's from the other side so as a player um, it's very rewarding when you get the team to follow behind you and do as you say and what you know, like what you practice and stuff. So, um, yeah, I definitely think it's having people behind you and like respecting you and showing you that they want to win for you. <laughs> the best part, she? Yeah, the yeah. best part of the Iron <laughs> College community. This one, we're human. We, this is how we are, uh, and we we enjoy. Be I definitely can't speak for you guys, but I enjoy being around John and Emily. Both very different personalities. I'm very different, but I think we all. We do mesh together, uh, but you know, we get pushed, you know, Emily's Emily's very, very, very business. She's like, okay, we're doing this, let's go. So we have a, a nice blend of, you know, experience, you know, passion, young, youthful energy, and, and the old cool head over here who keeps both of us on the leash. I think here everyone kind of knows each other. We interact with other coaches. People have asked me even just today, one of the basketball coaches stopped me and said, how did first practice go? And it's exciting to be part of a community like that. Yeah, I was going to say the people. Um, I mean, if it weren't really for the people, I wouldn't be back. Um, I, I don't know. It just goes along with the community. It's a small place, so you get to know everybody. And like you said, like you go anywhere and they'll ask, oh, how'd you do? You know, it's, it's nice to see that people care and to have enough people at games and stuff. So. That's all I got.